Before surgery, you will receive a call from our schedule to confirm your surgery date and to set up your appointment with the Center of Perioperative Medicine. You will have your pre-op testing done at that appointment. Plan to spend at least two hours at the hospital for this visit. Please be able to provide information regarding your health history and a list of your medications. If you have an advanced directive or living well, please bring that as well. You will receive a pre-operative packet that will provide you information regarding your hospital stay, visitor information, and hospital directions. If you are on blood thinner medications, you will need approval from your prescribing doctor to stop them five to 10 days prior to surgery. This includes Coumadin, Plavix, Aspirin, Motrin, Aleve, Advil, and Ibuprofen. The night before surgery, please do not eat or drink after midnight. Please do not chew gum or hard candy either. The evening before surgery, you will receive a call informing you of your arrival time for your surgery. For questions after 6 p.m., please call 216-844-2260. On the day of your surgery, take instructed morning medications with just a sip of water. Arrive two hours prior to your scheduled surgery. Register at the Mather Mini Desk. It is located at the Cornell Road entrance to the hospital. You will need your insurance card and a photo ID to register. Please do not bring any valuables with you. Your operation will take approximately four to six hours. Your family should check in at the surgery waiting desk. A nurse will update your family on your progress every two hours. Your physician will speak with your family members directly after surgery. Plan to spend at least one to two hours in the recovery room. The typical stay after cystectomy with iliac conduit is five days. During your hospital stay, you will be monitored closely. Initially, you will receive pain medication through your IV. Your diet will start with clear liquids on post-operative day two and advance when you're able to tolerate a regular diet. You'll be expected to walk with assistance following surgery. Walking helps restore bowel function and will help prevent blood clots. We would like you to wear your sequential compression devices on your legs in order to help blood circulation and prevent blood clots. Always keep them on unless you are out of bed. The doctors will see you every day during your hospital stay. The ostomy nurse will work with you to become comfortable in your care with your ileal conduit. On post-operative day three, you will begin taking part in caring for your conduit. Remember, a visiting nurse should be able to see you at home when discharged to assist you and your family members with stomach care. Social work will set up the home care arrangements and delivery of ileal conduit supplies. Upon discharge, you will need a ride home from the hospital. Please make arrangements for this prior to surgery and plan to have your ride here by 10 a.m. the morning of discharge. Remember that this is a major surgery and your body requires proper time to care and heal. Please have someone available to help you with your daily needs for a few days after surgery. For your safety, you should not be home alone. Please keep your incision clean and dry. You may place a dressing along the incision line where clothing may rub to prevent irritation. You may shower, but do not take a bath until four weeks after surgery. Pat the area dry with a clean towel. Stents will be intact in your stoma to help drain urine and let your ureters heal. They'll be removed approximately three to four weeks at your follow-up visit, or may follow at home. Please remember, do not lift anything heavier than 10 pounds. Take pain medications as needed. Do not engage in strenuous activities for at least six weeks after surgery. Please walk five or six times per day. It's common to feel tired after surgery. Take rest periods during activities. Do not drive for six weeks. As far as your diet, you may feel full quicker. Eat several small meals throughout the day rather than three large meals. Eating this way will aid your digestion and provide a steady level of energy through the day. Make sure meals and snacks are well balanced and high in protein. It may take several weeks or months for your bowel function to return to normal. Here are some suggestions to help prevent constipation. Increase the fiber in your diet to soften the stool. Drink at least six glasses of liquids a day, preferably water or juice. Take a stool softener twice a day, such as Colace. If you do not have a bowel movement in more than two days, take a mild laxative like milk of magnesia. Do not take a laxative if you have nausea or vomiting. You'll be given a follow-up appointment to see your doctor approximately two to three weeks after discharge. Your overall condition will be evaluated along with your stomach care and your pathology results will be also discussed. Signs and symptoms that require immediate attention. Fever greater than 11.5, chills, nausea, vomiting, or abdominal pain, no or low urine output, chest pain or shortness of breath, pain or swelling in the leg or calf, pus coming from the incision or redness. If any of these occur, call your doctor's office immediately. If the doctor's office is closed, go to your nearest emergency room. Thank you for choosing University Hospital for your care. We look forward to seeing you soon.